I just wanted to share one more metaphor with you that I think is very helpful and can be a good reminder at any moment of this uh, mind-blowing, isn't it mind-blowing? It's completely yeah. incredible. <laughs> this is, you see, reality, the truth of our existence is absolutely incredible. It's amazing beyond belief. It's, it couldn't be more mind-blowingly incredible. What a gift. What a revelation. So the image is that the absolute, right, the, the absolute uh, one being that includes everything that exists and everything that doesn't exist, right, is consciousness itself. There, in, the, in consciousness itself, there is only one, right? There's no difference. There's no differentiation, right? You with me? You with me, Alice? <laughs> right, so let's call that the white light, right? That's the white light of consciousness itself. Now, when the white light of consciousness itself, when you let go, when you let go and re when you realize this is a ridiculous <coughs> idea, that I am just this small, miserable, contracted, oh my God, why do I want to be that? Right? When you awaken, you realize, my God, just as Talia said yesterday, it all seems so solid. Right? You realize it's completely nothing at all. It's just an insubstantial dream. Right? You're still here as a body and a mind and an individual. Right? This doesn't just dissolve in white light. Right? You're still here, the world still appears. Right? But now your consciousness is of the white light that's reflect, refracted, you know, do you know the word refracted? Through the body-mind. So it's like a prism. Do you all know what a prism is? Yeah. <coughs> it's usually a triangular form. And so the white light comes through the prism and then it splits into all the colors. All the colors of, of the rainbow. I don't know if any of you are into Pink Floyd, you know, Pink Floyd, yeah. Dark Side of the Moon, that classic album cover. Yeah. So, all the colours of the rainbow, that's the world of duality. That's the world of the many. You know, the black shirt, the pink socks, Talia over there, necklace. Do you see? That's the white light that's split into all the thousands, multitudes of forms, forms and shapes and colors and all the rest of it. Right? Now, when we're unawakened, all the body-mind sees is all the colors, the 10,000 things, as I said earlier. And I'm an isolated thing in a world of 10,000 things. Do you see? You with me? Yes. But when you awaken, the 10,000 things are still there, but you see, you recognize, you know, there's only one thing. This, this is all a modification of the one being, the one consciousness, that you are. Right? It's all a modification, ultimately, of myself. You see? So then... You're, in a, you're still a body-mind <coughs> perceiving the world. The world appears just the same, you could say. <coughs> but your, your experience, your perception of being an individual is radically different. You see? You're still an individual, but now you're an individual expression of that which is indivisible. That which is one. 